Ever wonder why one suppressor seems louder than another when side by side, even if they are the same decibel reading? Are unweighted sound meter readings in decibels the most accurate way to determine how loud a suppressor is? Shorter answer is yes, but there's more to know. We start with the human ear. Our ears can detect sounds from a range of 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz frequency, but our hearing is most sensitive between 2,000 and 5,000 hertz. So two suppressors with an amplitude that is the same, but have different frequencies, you will perceive them as different levels of loudness, even though they're the same. Before we give an example, here are some definitions that we need to know. Sound. Sound is a mechanical wave that needs a medium such as air to travel through. Amplitude. Amplitude is considered the loudness of a sound, and that's measured in pascals and it's converted to decibels, which we are familiar with. Frequency. Frequency is the pitch, or less specifically the tone, how high or low a sound is. Duration is simply how long a sound lasts for. For example, let's say you hear two suppressor sounds. Both suppressors amplitude is 140 decibels exactly. Suppressor one is at 3000 hertz frequency and lasts for just 0.2 milliseconds. Suppressor two is at 8000 hertz frequency and lasts a bit longer at 0.3 milliseconds. Even though suppressor two sound lasts longer and will cause more hearing damage, the first one at 3000 hertz will actually seem louder to you, giving you the perception that it will cause you more hearing damage. That's because our ears are most sensitive to that 2000 to 5000 hertz range, and this has more of an effect on your perception of loudness than the very short time duration difference. Let's take a look at how your ear does all this. Here's a cross-section CT scan of the human ear. Sound enters through the auditory canal and hits the tympanic membrane, which sends vibrations to the malleus. The malleus amplifies the sound through the incus, then the stapes. The stapes connects to the oval window. The oval window is a membrane that leads to the fluid-filled cochlea. Inside the cochlea, tiny hair-like structures convert the vibrations into electrical signals sent through the cochlear nerve to the brain where they're interpreted, including how loud you perceive a sound to be. So now that we know how our brain perceives how loud a gunshot is, you have to determine what is more important to you. Is having a suppressor that's perceived as quieter more important? Or is having a suppressor that has a lower risk of hearing damage more important, even though it may sound louder? Hopefully guys, this gives you a much better understanding on why some suppressors may sound louder or quieter than others, even though they're the same decibel reading. I hope you guys like this video, comment, and make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one.